Welcome back to the At Home with Roby show. I'm Ashley Davis along with Trent Haston from the Roby family of companies. Visit us today at andrewroby.com. That's Andrew, R-O-B-Y. Dot com, or you can find us on the WBT.com homepage. Trent, before the break, we talked about National Grandparents Day. Once again, happy National Grandparents Day to everybody that's out there listening. We talked a little bit about, or at least I mentioned, the Roby Cross Division, and that's what's focused on the senior living, active adult community. We're joined now by Matt Young from our team at Roby and Roby Cross. Matt, welcome. Thanks for being here. I'm glad to be here. I just wanted to uh, give a quick shout-out to my grandparents on uh, National Grandparents Day. They just celebrated their 70th wedding anniversary. Wow. Matt, so this is uh, not this is not hip hop radio. This is a uh, talk radio. I don't know if we do shout outs. He wanted to say hello, grandmother and grandfather. Yeah, I'm not sure they understand when you hello. say shout out what you're yeah. talking about. Why is, why is my grandson yelling oh, at me? Hip. I don't understand. They're hip. They're hip. They're That's hip. how they hear me, Ashley. Uh, no, but uh, Matt, welcome to the show. I, I think you've been on here once before. If everybody at home can notice. We're doing theme here, Grandparents Day and uh, our Roby Cross, and I think later on we're going to talk with uh, Wilson Worley. He's going to be here. He's actually sitting in the studio looking looking all dapper uh, and, and continue the theme on our senior living division Absolutely. and what we're trying to do over here at Roby in that, in that market. Uh, Matt, you asked me to tell a little bit about how Roby Cross started, and I have Wilson here as well, why we started Roby Cross. Um, Roby Cross stands for the cross between the finesse of residential construction with the power and the girth of uh, senior con- uh, commercial construction able to get the job done uh, in these communities. But I think it was about eight or nine years ago, uh, Wilson Worley was was working as a broker for a company called Brookdale Senior Living. They're the, they're the biggest uh, senior provider in the U.S. right now. And they had about 20-plus projects to renovate across the state of North Carolina and lower Virginia. And we hooked up, and, and Wilson interviewed me and the, the Roby firm, and we remodeled these projects for him. And for Brookdale, fortunately, we won the business. And you know these were operating they had people living in them they had residents they had they had the staff that was working in there so we had to work around all that it was a finesse and we had to get the jobs done at the same time and keep everybody happy and we did really good at it and our history of custom residential construction led to that and uh and it just led to conversations with with me and Wilson as we became friends we were talking earlier about golf stories with my granddad we started golfing a lot and hanging out and we need to do more of that now but now we're busy trying to ramp up this division uh of our business but you know Wilson said hey I think this is something you ought to look at doing it's going to be the wave of the future a lot of people are getting older and living longer and this need in housing and construction is there so I listened to him, and we created, along with Gary Hickson on the on the PR marketing design side, created the Roby Cross brand, and it's really starting to gain legs. Matt and Matt, Matt leads that along with leading our commercial construction division as well. That's absolutely right, and uh, it's like you said, we've done sixty, roughly sixty five projects with Brookdale, so we're very relationship driven. That kind of goes into. Uh, our relationship with the five star senior live communities. Uh, we just started our first project with Axe Retirement, um, which has a, a large facility. It's a CCRC, which is a continuing care retirement community, all 51 called Plantation Estates here in Charlotte. So that's going to be a great relationship there as well. I think we've done, I, I think I told somebody the other day, close to, if not more than uh, than 100 uh, construction projects, senior living uh, age specific construction projects in, in the last eight or nine years from that inception so we're blessed to do that and this gaining momentum we're going to do more uh this year and, and our relationships are blossoming thank thank you to that market we're we're glad and thank you to your leadership matt um what are what are these projects what give give us some pointers on what seniors are looking for why is senior construction specific i mean why is it any different from from Ryland out here building a new home, two story house out in the country? Yeah, uh, there's there's different focuses. Of course, you have uh, like I said, the CCRCs is what's a full continuum of care. So you have skilled nursing, memory care, assisted living, independent living, all in one community, and it's working around the residents. I mean, you're coming inside the home and having to work around their daily activities, and it's a key focus of ours is staying staying close to the, to that. Uh, 
I guess. I think that actually, Matt, is a great point. My mom lives in a in a five star facility, and it's similar to to Trent what you do on the on the residential construction side. When you're renovating somebody's house, they have to live there. When you're doing this uh, in one of the in, in a memory care facility, for example, and you're doing construction and you're renovating, you have to be very cognizant of the people that are there and how to work around them and not interfere with their lives because it's already such they're already in, in you know in, in a possibly bad situation anyway. Yeah, and that's yeah. all. It's all proper planning too. It's you got a phase. Um, you'll have certain corridors. You got to phase it out, and you got to have proper management on staff to make sure that. We're overseeing the, the project so, through its whole. So growing up, I mean, I used to tell people, they're like, what is, why, why Roby? What, what's the deal? And this is when we were primarily custom residential. I said, well, we, we, you know, what we do for people, we bring your trash can from the street when our carpenters walk into the house in the morning. We pick up your newspaper uh, when I come look at a job and hand it to you and take it into your kitchen and set it on the counter, you know. The kids come up and give us a hug on our leg. That carries over so well to the senior industry because these folks, I mean, a lot, we talked about it last week. We always talk about it. We're, we're more than a construction company. We're a communications company. And, and the residents in, in these in these facilities call it, I mean, some, some people don't like to call them facilities, but the residents there, they want some attention, and there's a fine line between the amount of attention you can give them that crosses the line and, and the amount of attention they need. I think we're really good at that because I think, I think we want to do it right, and, and we're looking for the long-term relationship. And, and frankly, we think of them as our parents and, and our grandparents, and, and we, it becomes personal, and we become friends with them. So I'm proud to hear when I go back in, into these properties, I'm proud to hear uh, the residences come up and say, Hey, John, he was so nice, and he's the nicest young man. I'm like, he's... Uh, He's not a young man. <laughs> but, no, but Trent, it's, it's it, fun to hear. It's a great point. You're listening to the At Home with the Roby Show, by the way. We're talking about senior living, senior construction with our Roby Cross Division. And, Matt, I know that it, we talked about how important it is when you go in there and, and you, you work while people are living there. But some of the things you're seeing in there, you walk into, where, for instance, where my mom uh, now lives. It's a great community, but it looks like a residential home. I mean, it's Absolutely. got granite countertops. The paint is fresh. The carpet's fresh. Yep. And that's the environment that I think, and part of the reason why we're so successful in this marketplace, is we're bringing that residential mentality to a memory care facility. Yeah. And it's not only that. You're bringing pretty much the community in there because a lot of these facilities will have bistros. They'll have hair salons. So you, they, get, they don't have to leave the facility, which is nice. Well, I want to touch on something because I think it's an education. I didn't know about this before before we started Roby Cross and I had met Wilson. So CCRC is continuum care. So basically, I think it even starts at just age-restrictive housing, independent housing, independent living is where, you know, and then you go into where you're in a building and you have your independence and, and then you go to assisted living and then, you know, as you progress, uh, you go to memory care and, and stuff along that nature. So it is a wonderful asset for our seniors in this country today. I mean, talk about modernization. They didn't have this 100 years ago anywhere in the world. And, and now we have this where somebody at the age of 55 or 60 can, or later, whenever they so choose after that, can go and be with their friends and they become family and have this care at the various levels they need. I just think it's awesome. And we'll talk more with Wilson when he comes on at, you know, after the break. But it's, it's all about aging in place. For yep. people to be able to age in place, to be comfortable, to not worry about what's going to happen, where they're going to have to go, what they're going to have to do. So it takes a little bit of stress off their lives. And it's really, you know, as I've gotten older and my, and, and my mom's gotten older, my father passed away years ago, but it's nice to be involved in this, right, Matt? I mean, you talked Absolutely. about your grandparents. To be able to do something that's a career, but also to give back a little bit. Absolutely right. And we didn't, I know you're going to hit on with Wilson later, too. I mean, the active adult communities, that's a, definitely a growing trend in the industry, especially in the Charlotte area as well. And, and Matt's going to go shout at his grandparents. <laughs> happy seven, ha, happy, happy 70th, 70th anniversary, anniversary Happy shout out. I hear you. All right, yeah. Matt, thanks very much for being here, thanks buddy. A lot. When we come back, we're going to be joined by Wilson Worley. Wilson is an author and veteran of the active adult construction and development industry. If you're thinking about downsizing or finding that perfect place to retire, you don't want to miss this next conversation coming up after the break. You're listening to the At Home with Roby show. Visit us today at andrewroby.com. That's Andrew. R-O-B-Y dot com. We'll be right back.